This video describes the new hybrid roughing toolpath, now available in Esprit. Hybrid roughing is a strategy for pocket milling and Z-level roughing that applies multiple cutting patterns such as profit milling, profit facing, and peeling to fully open and mixed open boundaries. The hybrid strategy prioritizes keeping the tool engaged in the material to minimize costly repositions and machine tool deceleration, resulting in reductions in cycle time of up to 40%. Preventing repeated tool engagement on outside edges also drastically improves tool life. We'll look at three scenarios, a fully open boundary with islands, a partially open boundary with islands, and a partially open boundary with closed walls. When the workpiece has a partially open boundary with islands, the toolpath radiates outward from the center islands, causing the outer cuts to frequently enter and exit the material. With the hybrid strategy, Esprit recalculates the new stock boundary shape when the tool reaches the inner island, then uses the peeling strategy to keep the tool engaged as much as possible and avoid cutting interruptions. When the workpiece has a partially open boundary with closed walls, profit milling creates a central opening slot followed by a series of outward contour offset passes. This strategy creates a high number of unnecessary repositions and decelerations, thus increasing the cycle time. With hybrid roughing, Esprit creates channels with profit milling to subdivide the area, separating the closed edges from the bulk of the material. The remaining material is now open and accessible from all sides, allowing the profit facing cycle to create a continuous spiral that keeps the tool engaged. This removes altogether the costly rapid reposition moves between the linear passes, significantly increasing effectiveness while decreasing deceleration occurrences. When the workpiece has a fully open boundary with islands, the profit milling toolpath is offset outward from the island feature and is then trimmed to the outer stock periphery. This results in many repositions on the outer edge cuts and repeated re-engagement of the tool into the material, which increases tool wear. When hybrid roughing is enabled, Esprit performs a recursive calculation, re-analyzing the current in-process stock at each obstruction, applying the appropriate machining pattern for every geometry condition along the way. In this example, the toolpath starts spiraling inward along the outer stock profile until it reaches the first island. Esprit uses profit milling to create a channel around the first island, splitting off the remaining material. Esprit then reprocesses the remaining material, detects that the profile is fully accessible from the outside, and deploys a profit-facing strategy until it meets the next obstruction. To avoid diminishing returns, when Esprit reaches the second obstruction, it compares the area of a potential second separating channel to the area of the remaining material. In this mock-up, note the size of the remaining two sections, and how small the final area would be if the system generated the second separating channel. For this reason, Esprit determines that it would be more effective to process the remaining material as a whole, rather than creating another subdivision. Esprit then creates a series of open long sweeping contours to essentially peel the remaining material away. To summarize, by combining multiple cutting patterns such as profit milling, profit facing, and peeling, the hybrid strategy creates the best pattern to keep the tool engaged in the material when machining full open boundary and mixed open boundaries. With this hybrid strategy, Esprit minimizes costly repositions and machine tool deceleration, reducing cycle times by up to 40%, and drastically extending tool life. Thank you for watching this Esprit product feature video. For more information on this and other Esprit features, refer to the release bulletin and product help.